Whether you want that lit from within JLo glow or a super blinding highlight, keep watching for all of my highlighting techniques. Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. So today is my tutorial all about highlighting in my How To Makeup series. And we're gonna go through different methods of highlighting from getting that subtle, just lit from within glow to all out disco ball highlight. Hello. <laughs> Alrighty, so I just wanted to demonstrate the methods of getting various intensities of highlighting. And this is part of my How To Makeup series, which I'm gonna be linking the entire playlist of that right up here for you, so you can check out every single video. And if you're ready to get your highlight on, then please hit that thumbs up button down below for me, and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on all of the videos from my How To Makeup series. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so I kind of did the rest of my makeup first, but I did not set my foundation because for this first step, you don't want to apply it on top of powder. And so the first highlighting technique that I want to talk about is using a cream or liquid product. Now you can use this for a variety of purposes, either if you want something very subtle that's very like lit from within and doesn't look too powdery, then you can do this on its own, or if you want to intensify that powder highlight, then you can apply this underneath and it's just going to give you a more intense highlight. So a variety of products will do the job. You can do something like this, which is the NYX Born Aglow Illuminator, and this is in the color Sunbeam. Or you can use something like this MAC Cream Color Base, and this is in the color Pearl. But for today's highlight, I'm going to use a slightly pinker toned one. And you can apply cream or highlight products in a couple of different ways. You can either apply it with your fingers, you can go in with your sponge and apply it if you want to, or you can do something like a stipple brush or concealer brush. So I'm going to try first with my fingers. And you just want to dot this on the high points of the face. I'm not using a lot because I'm going to be using a lot of highlighter today. And then just blend it in. Now this is nothing crazy. If you want to, you can take a little extra and pat it in and really start to intensify it. So it's definitely buildable as far as the amount of coverage that you can get from this. But I just wanted to add a little bit of sheen because I'm about to go in with so many highlighters. I don't want to look too crazy. So now I'm just going to set this with powder and finish off my face for the rest of our highlighters to go on. And so now you can just apply your powder over this. Okay, and so now with my face finished off, as you can see, we still have a little bit of that highlight peeking through, but it's super natural, nothing blinding, and so now we're just going to intensify that a little bit by adding the powder highlight on top. And today I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter, and this is in the color Goddess of Love. So my favorite brush for powder highlights is the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush. And it's my favorite brush for not only highlighting, but also contouring. And i show you how I use it for contouring in my How to Contour video, which I'm going to link up here for you. But I'm just going to go into the product with the tip of my brush, tap off some excess, and then just apply it right over where we did that liquid highlighter. And now as you can see, we've intensified the highlight just a little bit. The color definitely matches because it has that same pink undertone, but it's still a nice subtle highlight. And so in order to intensify this further, what you're gonna wanna do is load your brush up with the product, and then you're gonna wanna wet your brush with some setting spray. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Illuminating Setting Spray for this. And so you would just mist the brush, and then because we don't want a thick stripe of very intense highlighter down our face, you just want to hit the very highest point of your face with this. And as you can see, we're laying down a much more intense highlight now. And then even with the damp brush, you can go ahead back into your product and repeat the same thing on the other side. If you want to, you can mist it again. Okay, so now we have a little bit more intense of a highlight going on. 
But if you want to take it even a step further than that, then to get even more pigmentation out of it, you're going to want to go in with a smaller brush. Now this can be something like a tapered eye blending brush, or I'm going to use the Expert Concealer Brush from Real Techniques, just because this one's great because it can be used with both powder and liquid products. And so I'm going to pick up some product on this brush, and again, just lay it down right in the center portion of my highlight to really intensify it. So now we're getting this really strong highlight over here. As you can see, the smaller brush really packs on a lot of pigment. And then blend it out a little bit because again, we don't want there to be a harsh stripe on the face. And then if you want even more pigmentation from your highlight, you would just mist that smaller brush with the setting spray and repeat the same thing that we did with the larger brush. Now I just briefly want to discuss a highlighting technique that I'm not going to demonstrate for you because it's really just meant for photography and that is to use a Swarovski crystal on your cheek to get that nice flare highlight effect that you've seen all over Instagram. And I think it was The Study of Makeup who was kind of at the forefront of this trend and I know that they wrote a lot of articles about her in like Vogue or Allure or something like that. But she basically just used Swarovski crystals that you can get at Michaels or craft stores and she would stick one right there on the cheek and so when the light hit it you would get a flare effect in the photo. Now, while that's great for Instagram photography, it doesn't really translate so well to real life. Like, you're not going to get that effect by walking around with two Swarovski crystals glued to your cheeks. And so I don't feel like it's that practical for even if you have a special occasion to go to. But if you want to amp up your highlight even more, let's say it's your birthday and you're going to a crazy party, or you want to amp up that highlight because you're going to be someplace dark or like in a club, so the next way that I would intensify this highlight even more is by adding a glitter highlight on top. And this is the Glitter Injections Highlighter in Margarita. And while you may not want to rock this going to work or school, for special occasions it may be something that you want to do. So I'm just going to show you how that looks in intensifying this already pretty dramatic highlight we've got going on. So I'm just going to take some on my ring finger and just tap it essentially. And while you do want to focus it in the center, definitely blend it out with your finger so it's not all concentrated in one spot. And you can just brush off if you got it where you don't want it. And so this is the effect that it gives. And as you can see, it may not be entirely daytime appropriate, but if you really want to amp it up, and especially for Instagram, this also will look really great in your pictures, but I think it's also wearable if you're just going to go to a party or a sporting event, just something where you want to really jazz up your face. So now I'm just going to apply it to the other side as well. And again, concentrate it right in the center and then just spread it out with your finger. Alright, so that is it. I am like totally digging this highlight. I don't know about you, but I think I'm just going to wear this every day. I don't care. Sue me. <laughs> And if you found this video helpful, then please hit that thumbs up button down below for me. And of course, subscribe because we're in the midst of my how-to makeup series and you don't want to miss any single video. I'll also be posting the entire playlist for you so that you can catch them as they come out. And if you have any questions for me, definitely leave them in the comments section below. Or you can make some requests for videos that you want to see from me. And if you've watched this far, here's a couple more videos by me that you can check out. And then click on my face right here and it'll subscribe you to my channel. That is it. I love you all so much. And I hope you blind people with this highlight.